Hi everyone, Brett Riverboat here again. Uh, two years ago I recorded a video on the X52 Pro and uh, how to use the mode switching. I've been planning on doing a follow up for a while and because the Elite Dangerous servers are down today I thought I'd just give you a rundown of what I've got going on. Um, also uh, that there will be um, in a Dropbox uh, my Riverboat 2 uh, profile will be available if anyone wants it. Um, but this is just going to give you a quick rundown on um, a few extra things that you can do. So, just a quick recap, we've got the three modes, the red one is fight, the uh, purple one is general flying, and the third one is landing. If we go down, uh, I've got silent running here. Basically this is the button underneath the safe latch. Um, I did try to set up a macro with it, which is why it's here and not in the game settings. Um, the macro didn't work because it's all to do with the temperature of the ship and yada 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 so uh, I've just left it set in here instead of uh, in the game we can ignore that let's scroll down okay so fire E which is the round button on the throttle um, if we click on it um, it's called five chaff so if you have a double chuff launcher uh, what it'll do is it'll fire off a chaff and then 13 seconds later it will fire off the secondary chaff and then it will fire off another 13 seconds later the third chaff after it's reloaded uh, up to five times now the key thing with this is obviously it's in the fight section so it's, it only works when you're in the red mode it is a macro which means it will continue all the way through until it's finished its programming so if you go across here on this one if you click on it and right click set delay the delay of 13 seconds is from the previous button so here it's not a delay of 26 seconds it's another delay of 13 seconds so right click set delay again 13 seconds if you were to do 13 26 39 uh, and then it, it would just mess things up I've actually had the blue screen of death while doing that so you don't want to do that uh, just set every key press as a delay from the previous button so that's that one um, meanwhile the same button when you're flying around in super cruise uh, or uh, anytime with your, with, with your guns not out um, it will target the next system um, this is quite handy if you've plotted a route but you want to stop off in the system to do some high grade emissions uh, grabbing um, all you need to do is press the E button uh, when the purple mode is on um, and it will target the next system and you can hyperspace lastly uh, you may have noticed every so often if you click out of the game and click back in whoops, um, that um, sometimes the game won't recognize the mode you're actually in so if you're in that difficult spot where you're going in and out of uh, a station um, the landing gear is supposed to be down but it's not um, I have just pressed that button uh, under landing gear uh, so you could just click it to just um, finish off what you're doing and then as soon as you hit super cruise hyperspace you can rotate the button to where it needs to be everything should be fine so that's that one scroll down a bit further um, so yeah this is uh, an extra to pips we'll come back to that in a second but if I go to my pips um, so it's the um, the throttle hat um, basically what happens is if I flick it left it goes 402 if I flick it right it goes 204 if I pull it up it goes uh, 240 and if I push it down it goes 042 understanding that a bit more if you click on it again it is a macro so it will complete the whole process um, uh, even if you release the button um, it's quantized time to 0.0, 0, uh, 0 0.02 seconds um, so basically in here it will go down up right 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 and it says up at weapons engine so priority to weapons with a bit of engines um, so you got one for all four movements of the uh, the button um, the, the hat so up down left right but and that's the same across all three modes but if we go back to the scroll wheel uh, so during the fight uh, does that every so often so during fight if I click the button it will give me pips to 033 three. Um, this kind of helps me for uh, shield tanks sorry uh, uh, hull tanks without shields um, so weapons will be 033 three. then if I scroll it down um, it'll give me 024 and if I scroll it up it'll give me 042 so again the time has been quantized um, and it's a macro so it will complete the task all the way through 
But then if we're in the general setting and you're flying towards a station and you don't want to overshoot, um, if you scroll it down, it'll set your throttle to 75%. If you scroll it up, it'll set your throttle to 50%. And if you depress the wheel button, um, it'll set you to 100%. However, if you look here, we've got an X here as well. This is not a macro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this by testing it. If we go to the test button. All right, so if I click it, uh, no, we're in the wrong mode. Let's rotate the mode. If we click it, it presses number plus to give me 100% throttle. However, if I click and hold, then it produces the X, which means full stop. That can be quite handy. Um, the way it does that is by not being a macro. So you click it and release and it'll only do this, but if you hold it for more than a second, it will give you a full stop. All right. Now under landing, uh, there's nothing for the wheel button click, but this I quite like as well. Uh, so uh, because the throttle is quite sensitive and you move forward and you move backwards and you overshoot your, your, your landing spot. Um, so what this will do um, is, I don't know why it's a macro, but um, if you scroll it forward, it will increase your throttle by a very small margin and then as soon as you stop scrolling it will release that button to stop it from moving forward so if I show you by rotating and then going into the mode right scroll down it will give me a W for forward stop and then if I scroll backwards it will give me a backstop so if you scroll it down once it will accelerate and stop accelerating and if you scroll it backwards once, it will decelerate and stop decelerating to get you back to zero. That helps for um, fine-tuning your landing spot uh, when you're trying to land on a pad. Okay, let's go further down. Uh, we've covered the pips. Right, then here uh, we have got the rotary. So this is... <laughs> It always does this. Let me delete that. Next subsystem. So this is not a macro and this is the rotary around the E button. So you can have a button to go next subsystem so you click 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 until you find uh, the power plant or your drives or whatever. Um, however in combat, so in the fight section, if you turn this so it's at the end of its rotation, so 0 to 10%, what it will do is it will do the next subsystem button, but then under it, it's not a macro, please bear in mind, and then under repeat at a delay of 5 seconds, it will do the next subsystem and the next subsystem and the next subsystem, etc, etc, until you found the one you want. So, to explain, if I go into test profile, so I'm looking for a subsystem while flying, so I'm going to rotate it, it's clicking through each subsystem until I found it, and then I return the rotation back to the centre. If I've gone too far, I rotate it the other way, and then it will go back and basically forward and backwards through all the subsystems, and all you need to do is just release it from the end point, and it will stop scrolling through the subsystems. I haven't set up anything for general and landing for that, I can't think of anything right now. Um, then we have the HUD lights. So um, you've seen players do this on YouTube videos where they can switch off the entire HUD so it goes all black. All you can see is the actual um, the, the, the desk of the, uh, the, the ship, um, the, the hardware, but there's no actual lights on. So you can't see your speed, you can't see the scanner. It all switches off. This is pretty cool. So this is the second rotary around the I button and it activates through all three modes. Um, it's not a macro, but if you see it's down press, down press, down press, release, release, release. Because what you need to make sure if when you're pressing the key buttons, you do Control Alt G, uh, or whichever way. But all three need to be depressed at the same time. So it's all depressed, all released, and then under release, it releases the buttons as well. And that means um, it will uh, switch the HUD on and off. So here it's it's uh, the last thirty percent of the movement. Uh, so if I go to test again, then I can just rotate. There we go. Control Alt G, and then Control Alt G when I rotate it back. Okay. Um, I think that's quite handy, and it's it's nice when you want to fly around and uh, just not have your HUD 
glowing in your face. Okay, the precision slider. I think we talked about this in a previous video. Uh, but this is my zoom in and zoom out. Uh, works much the same way as the uh, next system, subsystem. Um, but this gives you a delay of one second. So it's page down to zoom in and it's page up to zoom out. Um, and it will basically just keep going until you tell it to stop. So you push it all the way one way, it'll go click, 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 and then you pull it back and it'll stop. Likewise, if you pull it back, it'll go click, click in the reverse direction. Um, so again, test profile. So slide it all the way forward, page up, page up, page up, return it to the middle, pull it back, 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 back. There we go. All right. That's that. And then finally, I believe we have um, thrusters. Now I do have the thrusters on the throttle on the big silver button. Um, but sometimes um, you, know, you need to use your thumb for something else like a secondary fire or something. Um, so I've managed to fit the thrusters onto the, the mouse nipple. And again, it's over all three modes. But the way this is done, the way this is done is not by macro but it's a button press and a repeat so if you push it one way it will hold that button down until you release it which basically means you can consistently thrust left thrust right thrust up thrust down um, just by using the mouse nipple and as soon as you release it'll stop thrusting um, so that works quite well if you go through test if we can see here so if I push it there we go it's constantly thrusting release let go put it back it's constantly thrusting you can see it's mixing in R's and A's at the same time. It's because it's not accurate. It's not a very good button to use for, let's say, pips or to use previous subsystem, next subsystem, because it it can't quite find the home for the button and then release. It will always um, sort of interfere with each other. So that's why I thought that would be quite good for thrusters. So you push it down and hold it, pull it up and hold it. There we go. See, literally, it's just as soon as I release my thumb from it, it releases. Um, but that's a good way to do your thrusters on the X52. So there we go. That's everything so far. Uh, I am waiting for the uh, uh, quarter four 2020 release um, before I start adding more buttons. Uh, but that is everything that I do right now. Um, it is all saved, so you can use this profile yourself. Um, but uh, basically, I just want to help you get an understanding of um, whether you use the macros, not the macros, the repeat button, the release button. Um, gives you more of an idea of how uh, you can um, tailor it to your own specific needs. Okay, well, good luck with that, and uh, see you in the black.